Hello everyone, continuing the series of weekly contest 279. Yesterday we completed the first three questions and now it's time to look at the fourth question which is minimum time to remove all cars containing illegal goods. Here in this question we are given a string that can only have two types of values either 0 or 1. 0 represents that the goods are legal, 1 represents that the goods are illegal. As a train conductor we need to return all the goods that are illegal in nature and you have can perform three operations remove a car from the left remove a car train from the right remove a car from anywhere in between and they have provided us with the cost it takes to re make those removals what we need to do we need to return the minimum amount of time needed to remove all the cars containing illegal goods Let's analyze the things from the left end first and then we will move towards the right end. Let's hypothetically assume that I'm interested in removing this illegal car train from the list. How can I do that? Let's go by the first way out. Remove a train, removal of a train car from the left end takes one unit. That simply signifies one way out is to remove all the cars from the left end. So it will take how much units? It will take five units because we have five such cars starting from the left end. One, two, three, four, and five. And we have taken this decision irrespective of the fact whether the previous cars were illegal or legal in nature. We brute, in a brute force way, we simply removed all the cars starting from the left end up till the ith index which we want to remove. What is the other possibility out there? The other possibility out there is to go for the second approach, which is remove a car train from the middle. And how can we utilize this? It's again pretty simple and straightforward. How many cars are we seeing right now that are illegal in nature? Here up till there are two such cars. And then we see a gap. We have a good car over here, again a good car over here. That simply help us signify that we are making or removing a car from the middle point, which is this one. So when we see such case, we look out for how many cars were removed or the cost associated for the last illegal one which is equal to 2 and since we are now making a removal from the middle point it will uh, add up till 2 more units therefore the other possibility for removing this particular car will cost us 4 units of time and out of 5 and 4 which one is the lower one 4 is the lower one and as a result of which we will definitely go for this particular one because it is of lower quantity. If you have understood these two constraints, you have understood the entire logic. How? Let's extend this to the entire array. So let's get started. Let me just erase everything. The first element that we see is 1 which is illegal in nature. So one way out is definitely to remove all the elements from the left end and that would be equal to definitely i plus 1 which is 1 unit. So one possibility of answer is 1 unit. Uh, let's look out for the other possibility assuming that we are making this removal from the middle how many Ill illegal cars have we removed on the left side so far there are no cars on the left side as a result of which it will again be equal to 0 plus 2 assuming that it's a middle removal so out of 0 plus 2 which is 2 and 1 which is lower in nature 1 is lower in nature as a result of which we simply write 1 over here let's proceed ahead the first element that I see is 1 that means it's illegal in nature. So the only way out here is to remove it from the left end because there is no middle way out. So let's simply go ahead and remove it and the cost associated here would be equal to i plus 1. What is the value of i? It is 0. So 0 plus 1 is 1. So we set this value to 1 as shown over here. So so far we are good. Let's proceed ahead. The next element that we see happens to be equal to 1 again illegal in nature so the first let's go by the first way and the cost associated for removal of this particular train st starting from the left end would be equal to i plus 1 what is the value of i it is equal to 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 that means one way is to remove it in two units of time let's go by the second rule remove a train from the middle assuming that this is a middle insertion middle removal uh, what uh, what we will do, we will check what is the previous value stored here. The previous value stored here, here is of 1 units. So 1 plus 
two will give us three. Assuming that this is a middle removal is a removal assertion, then that means it will take up till three units. So out of this two and three, which one is lower one? The lower one is two. So we'll opt for the two case. That means for removing this particular train good, it will take up till two units at least. Let's proceed ahead. Let's go forward. And right now we see that the good value happens to be equal to legal in nature. In all such cases, what do we do? We simply copy paste the value from the previous step. So what is the value at the previous step? The, the value is two units. So let's write two here. Let's again, we see is a legal good. We again copy the place from the previous step. What is the value at the previous step? It's two. So we write two over here again. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is again an illegal good. This is an interesting case and let me just change the color of pen. And let's go by the first rule. Remove a train from a, from the left end. So assuming that we have removed all the trains up till here, the cost associated would be equal to I plus one, which is nothing but four plus one, which is of five minutes. So one way is definitely this one. The other way out is what do we do? We check what is the value stored at the previous end. So what is the value stored at the previous end? It's equal to two units. So we add two more to it, assuming that we are making a middle removal in, uh, re middle removal of the train gold over here. So two plus two gives us four. Therefore, we go ahead and, and choose the one which is of lower quantity out of five and four. As a result of which we get four over here. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is a zero. When we see, you see a zero, you simply copy paste the value from the previous end. So four gets set here as well. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is again a one. So let's take and analyze the two possibilities. And the first one turns out to be pretty simple and straightforward. You remove all the cars starting from the left index. It would be equal to I plus one, which is six plus one, seven. So it will take seven units of time. The other possibility is assuming we are making a middle removal, then what do we do in such case? We check the value at the previous end. What is the value at the previous end? It's a four units. Four plus two gives us six. So how much time does it take? It takes six units of time. What is the lower value out of the seven and six? It's six. Therefore, the value here gets updated to six. Finally, we have built the value starting from the left index. How much minimum time does it take to remove all the elements starting from the zeroth index up till the last index? And the array is something like one, two, 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 four, four, six. Again, we are going to do the same thing, but in the reverse direction. And this time we'll again start from the right end instead of the left one. The rule stays the same. Removal of a car from the right end takes one unit. Removal of a car from the middle takes two units. And let's get started. Let's assume we are over here. And this index happens to be six. The value here is illegal in nature. As a result of which there is only one way out. And that would be equal to uh, removing the car from here. And uh, it will take one unit of time. How do you identify that? It's again pretty simple and straightforward. How many total elements do we have? We have in totality seven elements. So the total elements, the value of n minus i gives us that value. So one possibility is n minus i. And previously we saw that as i plus one, here it is transformed to n minus i. I hope you understood this. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is a zero. So when you see a zero, you directly copy paste the value to the right index. What is the value at the right index? It is equal to one. So one gets copied over here. Pretty simple and straightforward. Next we see is again a one. That means there are two possibilities. And let me just change the color of pen to highlight those up. One is removal from the rightmost index. And how much time will it take? N minus I. What is the value of N? It is seven. Seven minus four gives us three. Definitely it makes sense that if you remove this first, then followed by this, followed by this, it will take three units of time. What is the other possibility? The other possibility is assuming we are making a middle removal and how much time will it take? So you copy paste the value from the previous step. What is the value set here? The value is one. So one plus two gives us three. So the other possibility also turns out to be three. The minimum of three comma three turns out to be three and you take three over here. 
let's proceed ahead next we see is a zero uh, in 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 case of all legal goods you simply the copy paste the value from the right end you get three here over here again you get three over here and next we see is one which is an interesting case so let's change the color of pen and the first way out is remove all the goods from the right end how much time will it take n minus i what is the value of n 7 what is the value of i it's 1 so 7 minus 1 is 6 so one possibility is of 6 units what is the other possibility assuming it to be a middle level removal you check the value to, to its right and what is the value the value is 3 3 plus 2 gives you 5 so the other possibility is of 5 units what is the minimum out of these two it is equal to 5 so 5 gets set over here pretty awesome and straightforward let's proceed ahead next we see is again a one so in all such one cases we have two possibilities and the first one is n minus i what is the value of n 7 what is the value of i 0 7 minus 0 is 7 so the possibility turns out to be of 7 units in the first case assuming the second case to be a middle level removal what do you do you immediately check the value set at the right end so what is the value 5 5 plus 2 gives you 7 so minimum of 7 comma 7 is again 7 as a result of which 7 gets set here now you have identified the cost it takes starting from the right end pretty simple and straightforward no rocket science so far it's very similar to house robber series on lead code it's just an extension to that now comes an interesting case where we want to merge these two up so the total cost for the removal would be equal to let's assume you are standing at this particular index so it would be equal to the cost associated with the left one up till here and right one starting from i plus one so one possibility of answer is definitely this and here we will check in the right array and here we will check in the left array does that make sense to you guys absolutely and we'll do the same thing for all the indexes that we have in the array we'll take the we'll add these two up so right of i plus one plus left of i we'll add these two up and we'll iterate over all the values of i and finally pick up the one which leads to the minimum cost if i want to show this di diagrammatically it will come up to be something like this you add these two up 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 six gets added to zero that is another corner case and seven gets added to zero that's another corner case so let's try this up seven plus zero is seven five plus one is six two plus three is five two plus three is five two plus three is five one plus four is five 4 plus 1 is 5, 6 plus 0 is 6. What is the minimum value out of out of all these values? 7, 6, 5, 5, 5, 5, 6, 0. 6, 6. Oh, this is not. So it's 0. 6 plus 0 is 6. Ignore that. Uh, the minimum value out of this complete lot happens to be 5. And this becomes the answer. And we'll exactly do the same steps as I have just told here. The time complexity of this approach is order of n because you are iterating through the array uh, maybe two to three times but the time complexity will remain of order of n the space complexity again we are creating new arrays for it and the space complexity would be equal to order of n but definitely there are ways in which you can reduce this to order of one uh, by because you just need the previous value not anything beyond it so it can be easily up uh, updated to order of one for simplicity, let's try and understand it with order of n first. So let's get started with the coding section. Here I have created few variables. The n value, which is the length of the string. Uh, the nums array, because I want to cast all the characters in, into integer format for simplicity. So what this is what I have done here. Uh, going forward, I created a new array left cost. By default, left cost at the zeroth index would be equal to nums at zeroth index. And then I start the iteration. I equals to one. I is less than n. I plus plus. Left cost would be equal to the minimum of i plus one that we talked about. Otherwise, we will extract the uh, co left cost at i minus one index, assuming that's a middle level insertion. We check what is the current value at i. 
if it happens to be equal to 1 then we add 2 to it otherwise we add 0 to it so this is the one for the uh, left side removal and this is for the way in for the middle side middle way removal going forward let's similarly build the right cost as well uh, i created a new array i initialize right cost to n minus 1 to nums of n minus 1 other default case and let's start the iteration right cost is equal to n minus i in the for, is the first case and the other case is equal to right cost plus 1 i plus 1 plus nums of i if it happens to be equal to 1 then i take two units assuming the middle level insert uh, removal and if it's not equal to 1 then i'll take a zero value it's simply getting copied let's proceed ahead and uh, this is the final conclusive way uh, i create i calculate the right cost i calculate the left cost and i add to these two up and i finally take the minimum one out pretty simple and straightforward in the end i simply return the minimum value this is just one corner case if i happens to be equal to n minus 1 i take zero value otherwise i take right cost i plus 1 value again nothing very tricky accepted the time complexity is order of n the space complexity for this approach right now is order of n but you can reduce this to order of 1 by take by replacing this array to two variables one for the right counter other one for the left counter this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates on coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye